Hello, church, and good morning. It's Pastor Jess. I hope that your week is off to a great start. And as promised, I'm joining you this week to keep us thinking about the aspects of a limitless and powerful God. Our reflections are going to be about five minutes long, and we're just exploring one aspect or one concept each day. It's not meant to be a whole meal, just a snack. I hope that you are in the word for yourself during this season and staying connected to the Lord. So yesterday, we explored the concept of a limitless God, and today and this week, I want to explore some ways that we might be limiting God with our own thinking, with how we're moving about the world. So we know that God is above all things and through all things and in all things. And today we're just going to scratch the surface on one of the ways that we can limit the power of God in our life so that we make sure we're not doing that. Today we're exploring our beliefs. And beliefs are critical. We literally call ourselves believers as Christians. And that begs the question then, what do we believe in? And I'm not talking about the Apostles' Creed or all the tenets of the Christian faith, although that's very important. But I'm talking about what do we believe about God? What do I believe about God? Our beliefs are shaped by our thinking and by what we really think is true. So I can say that I believe in gravity, but if I walk up on my roof and step off, Either I don't really believe in gravity or I believe something about myself and my ability to float or fall that is incorrect. And it shapes our thinking, what we believe. It shapes our actions. It shapes really who we are and who we become. So our beliefs, they can empower us or they can cripple us and chain us down. So some people really believe things like that they're not worthy of love. Or they believe that God's mercy and grace is for somebody else. Or that we have to work really hard to earn God's favor. Some people believe that all the bad things that happen are a punishment of God on their lives. And some people believe that God doesn't care at all about their sin or how they live their lives. Some people also think that all God sees in them is their sin or their mistakes or the ways that they've messed up. And so depending on what you believe, you're going to label and describe God differently. If you believe that the Bible is without error and it's the story of a king and his children, then you're going to read it very differently than if you feel it's a human book of stories that's just to help us be good people. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And so I ask myself, do I really believe that? And I think sometimes we break up that verse or I break up that verse incorrectly. And I say to myself, I can do all things, period. And let me tell you that that second half of the verse makes all the difference. Especially in times of trouble, we want to get self-reliant and we hoard and we store things away. And we say, I can do things myself. Or we hide and we scheme because we think we can do all things by ourselves. We kind of want to push on the limits of ourselves where we're not sleeping right or eating right or filling ourselves with things of the Lord because we believe I can do all things. Now, right now, is a great time to explore what we really believe about God and about ourselves. We need to start to act as believers like we believe the second part, that it's through him or through Christ that that we get our strength. That would be a faith-filled belief. Not that I can just do some things, but that I can do all things. All the things I've been praying to be able to do and accomplish or solve and become, I can do all things that God would deem good for me because he would strengthen me to do them. One of my favorite A.W. Tozer quotes says that what I believe about God is the most important thing about me. And I want to let that sit with us today. Do I really believe that God is bigger than what I'm facing? Do I really believe that God has a limitless power? Do I believe that I have access to that power? 
And so our link question today is, what do you believe about God? What do you believe about God? And I want you to write it down and I want you to think on it and I want you to ask him. Don't try for the church answer or the Sunday school one either. Make a list and test it and ask yourself if you wrote something like, I believe God is good. Really dig into that and ask yourself, do I really believe that? Even in the circumstances I can't change, even if he doesn't answer my prayers the way that I want, even if I never get fill in the blank. And where your spirit has pause in that list, think about it. Pray about it. Ask the Lord to help you in your unbelief. Tell him, I want to believe you're bigger than all this mess I'm in. Help me in my unbelief. God will honor that prayer. This morning, I just want to pray with you. And I want you to just let your heart open to the Lord and what he may be saying to you today as we leave this place. Lord, would you help us in our unbelief? We say all kinds of things about you without really putting those things into our active and practical belief about things. So help us in that unbelief. Help us to really catch the vision for the church that accesses your unlimited power. Help us to be more than something we believe for other people. Help us believe these things for ourselves. Help us, Lord, see that as a promise was made to us, that that we would be able to see you, Lord, and be with you, that, that we really believe that, that we would become your hands and feet, that we would believe you are who you say you are and you can do what you say you can do. Help us believe, Lord, that we are who you say we are as the church. It's in your powerful name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Please join us tomorrow as we explore another aspect of the limitless God right here, 10 a.m. I'll see you then.